In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to sort and filter data and be able to organize a large amount of data uh, very efficiently. Uh, the spreadsheet we have open right now has a list of different rigs, rig companies, and scores. And we're going to be able to, I'm going to show you how to organize those so they're a lot easier to read and also to uh, send so other users can, uh, can review them faster than if you just send them a spreadsheet with all of this data unorganized. One of the first things we're going to do is actually get rid of the information we don't need. Uh, so in this case, we don't need these three columns. And so we'll highlight the three columns, right click, click delete, and they're gone. We would also don't need this sort order number column. So we're going to do the same thing here. We could either hide it or delete it. Now you can also see that uh, these are all in a slash 10 type format, uh, which Excel doesn't accept. So we wouldn't be able to organize them this way. So what we're going to do is do a find and replace and get rid of those numbers, those excess numbers. The way to do that is uh, you click Control F, which will bring up the find window. Then in the find what, you can see there's a space right after each number. So we're going to hit space, slash, space again, and 10. And we're going to, we want to replace that with nothing. So in the replace with box, we're going to just leave it blank. Click replace with, and it's made 113 changes. You, as you can see, these are now treated like numbers because they're on the right hand side. Before Excel just treated them like plain text. The other thing you can see is we have these rigs right here that aren't ranked. So we're going to do the same thing to get rid of them. I'm going to go to replace, type in no ranked, the exact spelling that it has, click replace all, and now you can see those are all blank. So coming up the top, we're going to format it a bit and pretty it up a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is center it change the names to company, rig, and score. And because we want it to look better and more organized, we'll add borders. And for the title, give it a little bit of a distinction and go with a little bit more of a real color scheme. Now to get to where you can organize these, because right now you can see you have scores 9.76, 9.78, 9.95. Uh, you want to be able to see which rigs are doing the best and which ones aren't. So the very first thing we're going to do is select that column. Come up here to sort and filter. On sort and filter, we want to see the highest scores down to the lowest. So we'll click that and hit sort. And now, as you can see, it has all of the numbers listed correctly. It picked up a column here on the bottom that was another summary column. We can click on that row, right click it, hit delete or hide, and it disappears. So as you can see, going down the line, we have all of the tens, then 9.97, 9.96, and it filters it all the way down to where it gets to be nil. Now, as you can also see, there are a number of other companies here on the left-hand side. If we want to be able to filter and see only the rigs that scored a 10, or if we want to see only a specific company's rigs, then what we can do is highlight these columns, come up to sort and filter again and click filter. When you do that, you see right here on the top, each title now has its own little drop down menu. So say you wanted to see the rigs for WLP Energy, you click that, hit OK, and now you have only those rigs and you can copy and paste those and send them off however you need to and it's just a lot easier way of organizing it than it was in the very beginning.